how was the public uh, response? <laughs> yeah, public response has been good. Uh, every, every, every time I go somewhere, wherever I park the bike, I get a couple of you know admirers who come and you know want to take photos and snaps and, and they ask about how the customization, how the ride, how the feel of the bike and things like that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. This is Big Boy's Toys and uh, today I am in Domlur, uh, the place which is mainly known for uh, a lot of uh, companies like software companies. And well, uh, the reason why I came over here is like one of my friends, like uh, he has a bike modified, like uh, it is a classic 350 bike, that uh, it is a Royal Enfield 3, a classic 350 bullet and uh, he has uh, modified his bike in a very pleasant and very beautiful way which you will be seeing ahead in the video and uh, uh, let me just uh, meet you my one of my friend a uh, friend who is the, having the modified bullet hello uh, hi yeah hi <coughs> uh, hi uh, so uh, he is mr karun and uh, he is uh, this uh, video and the bike is just dedicated for him today <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, thanks. so uh, how do you feel like uh, what is the like, overall experience with this bike? yeah the experience has been good for sure uh, what i would like to tell you is uh, this is a very new bike. I bought it in 2019. Okay. It's a, a Royal Enfield uh, 350 Classic Gunmetal Grey, okay. which I initially bought it in 2019 October. Yeah. And in 2020, during the times of Corona, I had some free time. I was at home, so probably I thought uh, maybe I'll get my bike modified. So I gave it to uh, a customization uh, for the person, a company called uh, Bulletier Customs, which is in uh, Hennur, uh, here in Bangalore itself. <coughs> So actually my idea was to modify the bike uh, uh, to look like a bobber, bobber style, single seated and uh, yes, uh, Bulletia Customs has done a good job on my bike and uh, it's been a good experience and I have to start some rides with it, I haven't started because of you know the corona situation in Bangalore, so I'm just waiting for some things to settle down and then probably we'll go for rides. Sure, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for that yeah. <laughs> and uh, but ultimately, it's a beautiful work what he has done, like uh, what I can see and awesome. There is no point where we can yeah. give the negative point or negative feedback, ultimately beautiful. And uh, how was the public uh, response? Yeah, public response has been good. Uh, every, every time I go somewhere, wherever I park the bike, I get a couple of you know admirers who come and you know, want to take photos and snaps and, and they ask about how the customization, how's the ride, how's the feel of the bike and things like that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So I hope you might having, uh, you might be having a, a kind of VIP here as well. Yeah, close enough. Yeah. Because most of the boys, like, we are attracted yeah. to bikes. Bikes, yeah. This is so a good experience, yeah. So, people like my bike, the, the style which I have uh, done, it is personalized, be customized to me. Okay. So, and to my what taste I have and, uh, okay. and things like that. Yeah, it so, is. how about the uh, uh, seating experience, like compared to previously and yeah. uh, now? <clears throat> Now it is a single seater. Previously, the height also was there on the Bullet 350 Classic, uh, mm -hmm. the original uh, model. Okay. And now the height is reduced, and it's uh, really comfortable. And you know the stretch handles are there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, for a long ride. You know it is actually very uh, uh, peaceful to ride uh, this bike. Uh, you know, it's not much of a stress, and uh, the riding uh, experience is good. Yeah. And uh, how about the road grip and all? Road grip is fine because I have used uh, 140 by 15 tires, both uh, front and rear uh, tires. It is 140 by 140 by 15, <coughs> and uh, the the road grip, the balance of the bike, everything is good on this particular tires. Okay. So uh, you don't skid at all. No, both the front and the back wheel, the both have uh, disc brakes, uh, so uh, okay. uh, it doesn't skid much. Well, so, so. What is the overall, uh, like the, uh, how much you had to spend for uh, this? Uh, the customization itself, uh, I had to spend around 1,70,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bike cost me 2,20,000 when I bought it. Okay. So overall it's around close to 4 lakhs which I spent on the bike. So, but uh, value for money, what I feel yes, like, yes. Uh, just by uh, visual I can completely uh, say that this whatever the modification has happened yeah. completely mm -hmm. value for money what i feel yes it's good it's, uh, the bulletin customs has done a good work and 
uh, we took a lot of time during uh, the time when I had left it for uh, modification because uh, customization, he was not able to get the parts because of Corona lockdown and uh, situations like that. So he actually took four months to get the bike done for me. So, uh, but the experience is good. Okay. Uh, so uh, like uh, coming on to the performance, like uh, because of this heavy burn, uh, like uh, is there any uh, difference in the performance compared to previous and now? There's not much of a difference because uh, I've not uh, changed, I've not touched the engine. Okay. The engine is stock, uh, 350 Classic uh, stock uh, engine. Okay. I haven't done anything to the engine. Mm -hmm. And uh, the weight of the bike also is reduced because most of the parts have been removed and uh, you know replaced by other parts. Okay. The weight of the bike is reduced. Okay. And uh, the engine is a little bit is, uh, tweaked to, uh, to enhance the performance. So it is uh, doing good. Okay. And uh, which is the exhaust you have installed? This is a uh, Vistara exhaust, it's a customized exhaust, it has a, it's called Vistara okay. and uh, it's a cut, a half cut for silencer exhaust. Okay, and uh, can you listen to the... Pass model. So guys I hope you have watched the video and I hope you enjoyed the video as well and uh, thank you for watching it again once again and uh, what I would like to inform you is like if you like the video please hit the like button or if you don't like the video hit the dislike button and uh, you can even uh, comment and uh, share your opinion on this video as well and uh, what I would like to inform you is please do follow the traffic rules wear helmet and seat belts do not rush Please follow the traffic rules, okay? And uh, please do carry all the documents required. So, meet you on our next video or with our next update or with our next bike or a car. Okay, till then, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.